The numeric system we know today is organized in groups of only 10 numbers, which are repeated cyclically. Hence, we call it decimal system. But have you ever wondered what the origin of these symbols could be and why they have the shape they have? Every human study about decimal system seems to be related to the fact of counting the fingers given number 1 to the first finger, until 10 to the last little finger. This observation occurs equally with different symbols in every human culture. However, evidence and deductions indicate that maybe this order count was discovered after considering gaps the only unit of count. This idea on which I started work 30 years ago, I wanted to write a poem, a poetry work, in a very thorough way, making it look like a building. To do so, I used the typewriter, counting characters and spaces, trying to make it look like a building. The result was the very same text started to be divided into streets. I kept going and I couldn't stop. It took me like 10 or 12 years to finish it. It was then that I realized that we have a certain order set in our brains, or maybe it is outside and we are the receivers. A system of spaces in the brain, as if it was a computer, and then I realized that for us it is more important to count with gaps than with units. Then I started to pay attention to the fingers, what every math scholar looked at to come up with the decimal system. And that led to what I believe is the true origin from where numbers came from, and what's more important, where zero came from. On the finger counting model, when the finger units were counted, different symbols were given to each finger and thumb. When it came to the last little finger, number 10, they also gave a symbol for every 10 units, which would make it really difficult to memorize such amount of symbols and lacked practicality. Thinkers were frustrated, but they managed to recover the missing link and simplify the occurrence. The cultural idea of the origin of the zero and the decimal system were most likely conceived between the vast regions of India and China thousands of years ago. On one hand, the Chinese used horizontal lines in their numeric writing, while the Hindu community contemplated in their culture the existence of an ethereal conscience within every living being. Thanks to the operational order of the Chinese and the spirituality of the Hindu, the finding of the decimal system was possible. The observation of the hands rising to the void when people wanted and claimed 10 units in the market as a cosmic gesture could be the key to conceive the idea of a new concept of counting. The vision of the hands into the void enabled the idea of the void, represented by a dot in their culture, being related to the establishment of those 10 fingers and thumbs, formed by two groups of 5 finger units. Next, they decided to place their hands wide open facing down, each hand to one side at waist high. Based on this observation, they determined that the true zero would be placed at the center of the human being and all living things, including plants. All living beings are formed by two different parts joined symmetrically at the central nothingness or eternal spirit. They computed four gaps in the right hand and four in the left hand, plus the space between both hands. Now, each space should be given a symbol. So the thinker placed and pushed his hands into the soil and drew horizontal lines in every gap between the fingers, starting by his left. One line between the litter and the ring finger as the first space, two lines between the ring and middle finger as the second space, and three lines between the middle and the index finger as the third space. When he came to the fourth space, he took the shape drawn by the index finger and the thumb, 
keeping his hand open facing down. The Y appears in every culture as the most common and useful symbol par excellence. Fibonacci's golden ratio considers it the main movement in life when it is on a primary scale. He drew a big circumference on the sand surrounding this pattern of his hands, leaving inside the circle the sequence of lines including the central dot, which meant his navel or his soul. But since he noticed two equal and symmetric parts in the human figure, he bent the outline as a string, twisting it by the central dot, creating a knot or a central nexus. This way, he would have displayed the system as a double pattern in the image and likeness of the creator of the idea. But when he tried to draw the two horizontal lines fast and without lifting the instrument from the soil, the figure of today's number two appeared. The same thing happened with number three. This first movement with number two represented, by inference, the catalyst to assign one symbol to each gap. The first four genuine symbols corresponding to the first figures of the project of sequence and counting had appeared. One, two, three, four, and the central dot of the pattern as the future five, having started the count from left to right. We would only need to deduce the shape of the other four symbols in the right side of the pattern, where the symbols we already know will appear inverted, as a result of the twist from the central point. Now in the right side, the glyph of the fourth gap would appear upside down, like the six we now know. In the next gap, they took one of the three lines and crossed the other two with it, forming our number seven. In gap number two of that side, which consists of two lines and then number two, they drew a line diagonally, closing it, forming our number eight. And for the first gap with one line, it was different from the previous one using a circle. Based on the duality of things, they would add the gaps of both sides symmetrically, considering the result in equidistance from one another and the value of each part. Adding them, they found out they obtained 10 units with every two numbers in symmetry. 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5. They managed to count 10 gaps to the first power, but this 10th unit was outside the sequence pattern, in the void. What about number 5? The rest comes naturally. The central dot, the nothingness and the places at the edges were found later with the figure of the original ring. But since the circle had been twisted making a spin, the central dot was then in the very center of the figure of the eight sideways. To give this central space a symbol, this figure needed to be divided, creating an S, like today's five. What about zero? So now, zero, or a dot in the Hindu writing, would be in and outside of the edges, indicating on the right the power in spaces equivalent to the amount of finger units, 10, that the thinker of thinkers would have struggled to find, having managed and divided the total space as explained with the result of 10 spaces. The nothingness in this order count would be positioned twice in the center of the pattern as five, and outside as a whole, 0 and 10 in the figure of the 8 sideways, given that every living being was conceived and built bent on a symmetry axis, woven and intertwined. We would only need to add the first glaive, 1 with nothingness or 0, and start the sequence again with every symbol in numerical order in succession and infinite positional order. So they based their theory on the belief of these Eastern peoples, whose foundation lays on reincarnation through the will of samsara. All living things die, but they come back to life immersed in an endless will. In the most simple way, an older system of exponential reach had been born, contemplated from the most absolute abstraction and yet thorough due to its true observable duality. 
eh, de dónde surgieron los, los números. Y eso realmente pues no es, eso no, no eso es causal. From where numbers came from, that's causal. No one came up with it. It has a psychological connection where the four numbers of the right part of the decimal system were really inspired by the first four from the other part of the system. We are on this world, but it seems like everything's programmed. We are part of a sequence of a mathematical reality, a mathematical order. Human beings, attempting to bring order to themselves, located the central space, they found a sort of spirit that when it dies, takes a journey, returns, and that's what I could deduce. It's a supposition, but when I developed this work thoroughly, mathematically, of the order of the gaps, the existence of the spirit is really important. As we have been able to prove during this journey, the decimal system we know today could have been born in a kosher, natural way, thousands of years ago after observing the hands and the gaps between the fingers, as well as the shape between both hands. This set of numbers, including zero, was born thanks to the space formed by what the Hindus considered the central nothingness, or eternal spirit, which twisted with a spin, showed the symbol for infinity. The sets of 10 units will be repeated cyclically to the infinity just like it would happen with the cycle of reincarnation of the human spirit, represented by this will of samsara. <laughs>